as you probably saw, this is episode three in the One Thing series. I said this in the previous episodes, but to recap, the goal of this series is to have a simplified view and a somewhat bite-sized amount of something to chew on in regard to the vast and extensive subject of the Christian life. The subject of the Christian life is so very broad, it can be challenging to know where to begin, or it can be too much to try to grasp, or it can be overly complicated by man. So this One Thing series is aiming to focus on one thing at a time, one important thing, and to take it to heart that we would have a more solid foundation. Think of each of these one things as foundational bricks. We're going to focus on one thing at a time. To continue, our God knows how to build. He is the best teacher. He is most wise. He knows what foundational bricks need to be laid. He knows where a structural support or a beam needs to be. He knows how to build for strength and longevity. He knows what materials to use. Trust him as he builds. He knows the importance of things being square, of straight lines. He knows what is needed to properly support a person's calling. Sometimes this building takes time. He has made his plans, drawn them out, and he is accomplishing them. The one thing of this episode is this. Mean what you say. God means what he says. He always means what he says. This is one very big way where he is not like man. But may God's people be more like him in this way. Can we discipline ourselves even in this? It is good if we do. It is good if we care. Lord, help. Godly men are fast disappearing. Where in all the world can dependable men be found? Everyone deceives and flatters and lies. There is no sincerity left. But the Lord will not deal gently with people who act like that. He will destroy those proud liars who say, We will lie to our heart's content. Our lips are our own. Who can stop us? The Lord replies, I will arise and defend the oppressed, the poor, the needy. I will rescue them as they have longed for me to do. The Lord's promise is sure. He speaks no careless word. All he says is purest truth, like silver seven times refined. O Lord, we know that you will forever preserve your own, from the reach of evil men, although they prowl on every side and vileness is praised throughout the land.